an early age, it seems that Caitlin Barber Salee was destined to become a star athlete. The only question was, which sport? And I did everything. I mean, I literally like ice skated for a year. I played softball for a year. I danced for a year. You know, I did it all just to see what I liked and just never really found the thing I fell in love with. And then fifth grade, we had some after school like intramural program and they would do like uh, just kind of a stretch of different sports. And so after the volleyball um, season, the gym teacher walked out with me. I was getting, my mom was picking me up and he just kind of took the time to um, comment to her and say, hey, I don't know if you know this, but she's kind of gifted in volleyball. And we were all like, what? Like volleyball, why volleyball? You know, I was always around other sports. And so, um, but I knew I liked it. And then just that little bit of encouragement just made me go, hmm, like, all right, well, sixth grade's coming up. That's the first, you know, organized team for school volleyball. So I tried out. She made the team. And then in eighth grade, she decided to try out for the high school's freshman squad. She wasn't sure she was good enough. Her father encouraged her to aim even higher. You can do more, there is more for you, and um, I believe that's the story that's being written for you, it was always there. And so, sure enough, tryouts ended, cuts were announced, and it was like I walk up to the board, and it was like, Caitlin, Barber, freshman team. I'm like, okay, I made the freshman team. And then it was like, JV, is that, I'm on that one too, okay. Literally, my name was on all three lists. I had made all three teams, which, that, don't even ask me what that means, but, um, I, I played every night, I played freshman JV and varsity my eighth grade year and loved it. Never once thought, this is, I'm tired, it was just, this is what, uh, this is what I'm made for and um, just kind of quickly just fell in love with the game. By her junior year, it was time for Barbara Salee to begin scouting out colleges where she might continue playing volleyball while pursuing a degree. At that point, she was interested in attending Xavier University in Cincinnati. Then she was invited to participate in a camp of elite athletes in Louisville. And the camp was ran by college, D1 college coaches. And so it was incredible, it was an awesome opportunity. Um, and at that camp, I got to see coaches from all over, including Moorhead. And I, it was like a switch of like, Xavier is not it anymore. It's Moorhead, Jamie Gordon. It was like, I mean, I'm sure my, my parents can attest to this. I came home just going, I don't know anything about Moorhead State, but I need to learn more. I, I just loved the way he ran his court. He was, um, he was sweating in drills I and mean, he, he just had an intensity that matched mine and I knew that would make me better. Um, and so, and I knew it was two hours from home, which was important to me to be near home. Barbara Salee reached out to Coach Gordon and sent him video highlights of her high school matches. He gave her feedback on all aspects of her game, but did not offer her a scholarship. Gordon explained that he didn't have a scholarship available for her position, but promised to recommend her to other Division I coaches. And he did. We were at a tournament a couple weeks later. Uh, my mom was on in the stands and Lo and behold, she was sitting next to Jamie. He had no idea who she was. We knew who he was. That's the benefit of being the, on that side of the equation. Um, and next to him was Ole Miss's coach. And she was looking for a setter for 05. And he immediately said, oh, have you seen, have you seen number three, Caitlin Barber, on this court? You should check her out. She's great, da 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 And just did exactly what he said he was going to do. And so that just made us like him more, which was kind of a bummer, you know, but it was great. And we, I got home that night and I emailed him and I said, hey, I just want you to know, this might sound weird, but we heard your whole conversation and we just thank you for being a man of character uh, and integrity and keeping your word and just helping me when I have nothing to give you, um, thanks. And he responded very quickly and said, that's like the third or fourth coach I've brought your name to and I'm just kind of tired of talking to other people about you. I think you need to come to campus. It was what she wanted to hear, and although she wasn't expected to see much playing time her first year, fate intervened. Freshman year, right before, I think it was right after I signed actually, um, the setter that he had recruited ended up not being able to complete her, her time at Moorhead. So she had to leave unexpectedly. Had he not recruited a setter, he would have been up a creek. And it was just, it was crazy how that all went down. Um, I don't think he was ready for me to set my freshman year. I think he was kind of expecting I'd have some time to season up a little bit, but um, I had to hop in and do it. And it was a great first month. And then I got hurt. 
So I blew out my knee. I um, had never really been hurt, and uh, we were playing at Xavier, ironically, really close to home. I had about 50 people in the stands. It was an awesome night until it wasn't anymore, um, and that was, you know, a season-ending injury. Barbara Salee calls the setback a pivotal time in her life. She says she had to grow up a lot, and the coach helped her through it. It wasn't like I was just kind of like, uh, you're on the DL list, like, we'll get back to us in six. You know, it was, hey, we're going to work on your hands. You can't move, we're going to work on your hands. Hey, we're going to talk about leadership. Hey, we're going to, I'm going to give you feedback. We're going to watch film. We're going to, you know, it was just a lot of coaching that I don't think I would have had had I been able to be on my feet. Um, and so a lot of the parts of my game that I don't think I was really D1 ready for, I think in that season I got there, which is weird and cool, and I'm grateful for that time. Um, so that was kind of my beginning of my career at Moorhead, and, and then I got back my sophomore year. Thank the Lord, I was healthy, and I stayed that way for the next three. So. And those next three years were nothing short of incredible. Barbara Salee set the sophomore and junior class record for assists, with over 1,600 and 1,500 respectively. She had 80 assists in a single match against Eastern Kentucky in 2006. When she completed her final season in 2008, she was credited with 4,678 assists. That ranks 10th in Ohio Valley Conference history. Barbara Salee was chosen for all OVC teams in each of those three years, and she was named an All-American in 2008. Moorhead State won back-to-back -back conference championships during her junior and senior years. Only nine other volleyball players have been inducted into the MSU Athletic Hall of Fame. As one of ten, um, it's pretty special. I. I love Moorhead, and I will always love Moorhead. I, I don't think I could put it into words. I don't know how I was named this. I don't know how it's happened this soon. I don't understand it. I played with incredibly talented athletes all around me. And the accolades have continued following her graduation from Moorhead State. She's now the volleyball coach at Highland High School and has been named Northern Kentucky Coach of the Year three times. As Caitlin Barber Salee now takes her place among the most talented athletes in Moorhead State University history, she credits her family for putting her there. She remembers her parents attending out of state games on weeknights more than a decade ago. They drove four hours to just say, hey, and to make me feel like I was important to them. And so I. I don't think I would have had the career I had had I not. I mean, my grandparents came to tons of matches. My grandparents still to this day, they'll come to my high school matches wearing Moorhead shirts, <laughs> which is amazing. And it's and they don't meet a person that they don't talk to them about, you know, their granddaughter. And um, to have people that were always in my corner, it has shifted the way I parent and the way I love others. Because if people don't have that type of support, I want to give it to them because of what I had.